So let's summarize this video, as there was a lot going on here. The center of mass and the center of gravity are, as far as this course is concerned, the same idea. So we might alternate between these two different terms. But as far as we're concerned, they're the same. And the definition of center of mass has many different aspects. The first aspect is that the center of mass is the mass weighted average position of an object. And that this, ob this point does not need to be inside the object itself, as we saw in the example of the washer. Second aspect of the center of mass is the center of mass is the point at which the force of gravity can be thought to act. And this aspect of the center of mass's definition has a couple of important consequences. The first is that if an object is suspended, then the center of mass will be below this suspension point on a straight line. We can also say that the center of mass is what follows the parabolic path in projectile motion. A perhaps more subtle consequence of this aspect of the center of mass's definition as being the point at which gravity can be thought to act is that an object will balance if its center of mass is over its base of support, which again, base of support is defined as all of the points where an object meets the ground, connected by straight lines, and all of the area inside. 